little table. And uh, this is my for my table. And these are the uh, pieces of uh, the exterior. Uh, I forget what they call this stuff. It's like a wafer board. And wafer board is actually good to use for, for this purpose because the glue that they use is uh, water resistant. That's why you see this sometimes on the outside of uh, houses, like underneath like aluminum siding or whatever before they, they finish the exterior. I think it's actually called exterior board maybe. But anyways, I use spray adhesive to spray down my canvas. And I have about uh, three or four of these. And uh, I generally use this one for my uh, decorating, you can see all the stuff on it. It's strictly for my uh, lighter colored clay. Uh, and then I have one for my red clay, strictly for my red clay over here. My I use pretty much for both. And, and what I do is I separate them, I keep um, all my brushes on on this, uh, it's actually a thin bat that I have over on the other side of the wheel, you might have seen that. And all my cutting and carving tools. On this table. And then the different uh, types of loop tools for carving. Actually a couple of larger ones, which I don't use too often, I find. And then uh, type tools, these are actually panel tools. Uh, keep all those there. And keep one little spot for my slip, which is, while I'm throwing, you may have seen sometimes if you watch me that uh, I keep this little strainer that I, grocery store I got this, and I just keep it in top. When I clean up my hands, I do it in there and then just and that takes all the chunks out. The chunks I throw into my little basket for, for reclaiming, and this leaves me with a slip, which usually has just about the right amount of water for, the, uh, for this decorating. I also use a metal rib, and uh, I love these, these wooden tools actually are really nice for sculpting. They're just a uh, you know, generic art store, craft store. And uh, I, I like one fan brush for adding uh, like light textures of the second slip color. Uh, one stiff brush and a medium. These are just the disposable brushes I use a lot. And uh, these are just uh, rather inexpensive craft store brushes, a couple different sizes. And for various shapes and a pen. I use this all the time on eyes. <coughs> I use this because after I do it, I can clean it out and it, uh, it's tapered nicely. And the other side is a little uh, round ball on it, which actually comes in handy. And then uh, a bristle brush that I use occasionally. And that would be my setup. One smooth dude. And uh, I keep all that. Whoa, didn't mean to move you so fast. Over on this side. So I am 